Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Very good. How are you? How about your weekend? <laughs> well, it was good. Kind of busy, but I rest a little bit, so that's good. What about yours? Sorry? What about yours? How was your uh, weekend? It was good, very busy, but okay. uh, with uh, some uh, a lot of things to do. To okay. do, I finished. <laughs> okay, but do you work on, on, on weekends or not? Yes. Do you? Oh. See you okay. on Saturday. Oh, okay. That's good. What about you, Yerbin? How are you? Very well, teacher. How about you, teacher? What's good? I try to rest a little bit, uh, enjoy with my family, so that's pretty good. Glad to hear that, teacher. Yep, thank you. What about the rest? We got Sophia. Very Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is at yes. Sophia's house. <laughs> All my house. Oh, really? Yes. Including the table, the chair. The nice. All, all. And is it cold there where you live? Is it cold? It's cold here in Aguachapan. Oh. It's windy. Oh, but that's good. <laughs> Do you like the weather? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Really like the weather more than the, the summer. Okay. The... Definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vanya. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. What do you do on the weekend? Um. I was in my house uh, okay. and was stressed. Okay, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Let's see who else we have here. Mauricio, good evening. I think you're on mute. Ah, hello. <laughs> hello, how are you? Very good. How are you? Hi, right, thanks. Very good. What do you do on the weekend? Uh, we really rest here in the house. Okay. And um, and um, in the morning, in the morning and afternoon, I was to walk uh, around the uh, around here in, in, at home. Okay. So you went. You went running. I went. In the morning, yes. Right. Okay. Very good. That's nice. Good. Yeah. Cool. Hi, Dolores. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Good. What do you do on the weekend? The weekend, I was at the beach. Oh. You. That's good. So you went to the beach. You went to the beach? Yes. To which one? San Diego La Libertad. Okay. That's pretty. Very good. Hi, Rafael. How are you? Hi. Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm very good. What do you do on the weekend? I, I went to the movie. Oh. And and I went to have lunch with my parents. Oh, that's good. Very good. And what movie did you did you watch? It it Eternal. Oh, is it good? Yes, it was it good. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I have it's to see the trailer, and it seems <laughs> that it's pretty pretty nice. Yes, very nice. Oh, that's good. That's where. Um, uh, Salma Hayek and um, Angelina Jolie, yes. they are the two ones. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but that's good. 
<laughs> yes. Great. Very good. Let's see who else we have here. Dagoberto, good evening. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, hello. Uh, with, How are you? Uh, with this information, new information, I will be. Uh, I am. Um, I will go to the movie next weekend. Oh, you you wanna watch Eternals too? Thanks for the information. Good. <laughs> That's uh, good. I want. I have a question. Yes. Uh, what is the what is the mean uh, of no way, Jose? No way, Jose. De ninguna manera, Jose. Is, o sea, se ocupa se ocupa de alguna manera en particular porque lo vi en una película y esa fue la expresión. Y José no había ningún José. Pues. <laughs> so, for example, no way you can say like uh, someone is telling you something like, for example, you know what? Uh, I'm quitting my job. And then the other person said, no way. It's like, en serio, no te creo. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh -huh, so that's the way you use it. So you can use that expression like, uh, no way, really? And then it's like to show like uh, you are amused or amazed by what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Thanks. welcome everybody. Good evening. Uh, thank you one more time to join uh, this class. This is our seventh class for this module. So thank you very much for being here. We're gonna start uh, right now. And as we always do, uh, we're gonna start speaking uh, because we like speaking. So we're gonna start speaking today again. So uh, we're gonna do something here. Let me show you exactly what are we going to do. It's pretty easy. What we are going to do, um, let me see. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, good. So this is what we are going to do. We're gonna practice. And here there is no um, any grammatical uh, subject that you need to use. Um, it's just speaking. We have four, we have two questions, we have three topics, and I'm gonna be selecting people here from the class, and I will need you to speak for 30 seconds with no stop any of the things that you would like here. So if I say, for example, Alexander, so then Alexander starts 30 seconds, to speak and he choose one of the topics and he starts speaking. For example, let's say uh, I would start, uh, start talking about hobbies. Okay, well, my favorite hobby or one of my hobbies is to play the guitar. And I like to play the guitar because I like music. Uh, my favorite music is, is rock music. And my favorite uh, band is System of Down. Uh, I really like them because blah, 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 blah. And then you continue until your 30 seconds are over. And then with your 30 seconds, I will say stop and I will choose somebody else. Okay. So uh, let me give you right now just one minute so you can choose one of the topics. So you, you are ready whenever I choose you. So just see if the, the hobbies, you can, you can choose for hobby, you can choose for favorite music and then explain why uh, your favorite movie and explain why um, your dreams. What are your dreams? Uh, what would you like to do? Where do you see in five years, 10 years? And you can also talk about your family. How's your family? Uh, what did you do with your family or what are you planning to do with your family? So all of those things, uh, think about them, choose one topic, and then I will start a asking you to start. So we're right now at eight to nine. So when the clock hits 10, 10, oh, it's 10, 10. So we're gonna start, let me choose 
Uh, first of all, is there a volunteer? Do we have a volunteer who wants to start? We, we can only only uh, talk about one one point of that of that. Yes. Or two. Uh, you can use you can choose two. Uh, if you want, we're going to make it for one minute, so you can have more time to speak. Okay. So then, if you want, if you want to talk about two things, you're going to have time. All right. So let's do it. So Yolanda, you start. Your minute start right now. Go ahead. Uh, my favorite movie is The Godfather. Uh, this movie left me a lot of uh, message. One of them is my father taught me uh, many things. Uh, one of them is keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. This is a, a good uh, lesson, and I try to uh, implement in my da daily life. Uh, I think... Uh, this is a uh, good advice for all of us. And I try to uh, do these kind of things. Finish? <laughs> Still, 15 seconds, continue. Okay, uh, my dreams. Uh, I think uh, I need to work uh, for two years more, more, more and I'm trying to uh, finish uh, this kind of work. Stop. Good. Okay. Now choose one one of your classmates. Uh, uh, Mr. Dagoberto Rodriguez. Okay, Mr. Dagoberto, you ready? Okay. Uh, All right. Your minute start right now. Go ahead. I like to hear uh, music. Uh, listen to. Uh, listen. Listen to. Uh, or to listen music. Listen to music. Uh, I, my favorite. We can hear you. My favorite type of music is the Spanish rock. Okay. But, but now I I have started start uh, to uh, to to listen uh, English music. Uh, is it's interesting uh, hear hear or listen to you know uh, it's interesting uh, listen to mm -hmm. the letters of the the lyrics oh the lyrics of the things of the songs of the songs of mm -hmm. the songs uh, uh, i right stop <laughs> very good now choose one person Dolores. Okay, Dolores. You ready? Dolores? Hi. Okay, so your minute <laughs> start right now. Okay. Go. My favorite hobby is watch TV in the night or watch videos in YouTube about investigation um, mm -hmm. my favorite music is romantic romantic music <laughs> romantic music okay and I listen to in Especial. Uh -huh. eh, especial. Okay, in a special occasions? Special occasions. Okay. Um, my favorite movie is Stop. Shrek. Oh, Shrek. Shrek is a very good movie. Really nice movie. All right, Dolores, choose another person. Mm. Sofia Calderón. Okay, Sofia, you ready? Sofia? You ready? Okay, so your minutes start right now. Go. Hello, my hobbies 
I used to, to do aerobics twice a week. I play video for do exercise. Okay, um, to do exercise. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For do exercise. I play video. Okay. Um, I play basketball with my daughter. Um, I used to find field every day. Um, I I like to find. I used to to sell my my painting. Mm, I usually find flowers and animals. All right. And, Stop. Ah, uh, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's right. <laughs> All right, choose somebody else. Choose somebody, Sofia. No podía desactivar. Y Margarita Torres ya pasó. Yes. Another one. Es que casi no veo aquí. Mauricio Morales ya pasó. No. So, Mauricio, your turn. You're ready. Ah, oh, my turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go. Uh, well, uh, my topic is uh, hobbies. Okay. Okay, about hobbies, uh, I like to. Uh, I like to walk uh, and and run, and, and I about I have another another hobbies like a like a mountains. To I like all the oh, I I like all the green so the I don't know how do you say the nature the nature yes the nature the nature yeah uh, and. Um, well, my favorite hobby is uh, it's first to walk and run. We we do that with my wife uh, all the time, very early in the morning at five thirty or six in the morning. We walk and and run, and after that, we we is the only one one. Uh, Stop! No, no, come on! <laughs> <laughs> all right, finish, finish the sentence. Okay, is is the only well the only time that we can really talk and planning what can we do uh, in okay. that time the morning. Very good, great, that's good, excellent, Mauricio. Okay. All right, choose some, choose somebody else. Ah, uh, wait, let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see who. Okay, Francisco Lopez. Okay, Francisco Lopez, you ready? Are you ready, Francisco? I am ready, teacher. Good All evening. Right. Good Everybody. evening. Let's go. I I have a two topic. Okay, I go ahead. To about two topic. Um, for example, in, in the in the, in the movies, uh, my hobbies is watch watch TV, watch movies. Okay. Uh, I like to watch uh, action movies. Uh, for example, uh, I like I like uh, movies of Steven Seagal. I like movies of um, Fast and Furious. I like I like to watch movies. Um, in about about music, I like. Uh, Music of eighties and nineties and nineties. Uh, I like to watch uh, romantic music and pop pop music. All right, uh, stop. Very okay. good, Francisco. Thank you. 
All right, we have just one more spot. Is there a volunteer who wants to share with us for a minute? Volunteer, if you want to pass, just Me jump teacher. in. Noemi. Okay, so we're going to go Noemi and then Alexander. All right, Noemi, you ready? Okay. Go. I'm going to talk about my family. The first things that you need to know is that my family is big. Okay. I have two, two, two younger brothers and two older brothers and wow. one younger sister and one older sister. Wow. I have six, seven in total. Um, I have two nieces and four nephews. Uh, the, the last weekend I was doing handicraft for my my little nephew. Uh, he has two years and he told me that he wants some Christmas decoration for, for his tree. Nice. And I was working on that all right. weekend. Stop. Very good. Nice, Naomi. Great. Uh, Chris, you want to pass as well? Yes? Okay. So we're going to do Alexander and then we finish with you. Okay. Right, Alexander. Good, and good evening. And uh, about the hobbies, when I was a teenager, I liked to play some instrument like guitar and the drums uh, but now i prefer to watch some soccer games role for example road the to qatar 2022 <laughs> and to listen and i like to listen to music and and watching some concerts and about my family, I live with my wife and my daughter, and I have a cat and a dog, too. Only that. <laughs> Continue. You have 20 yeah. seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, at the beginning, I thought that the cat and the, and the dog uh, um, was uh, impossible to be friends, but... <laughs> Now, now they are friends. <laughs> now they are a good friends. All right, stop. I, I don't like that cat too, but now, yes. <laughs> Very good. All right, Crisia, we finished with you. You ready? Okay. Go. Okay, it's about music. Um, I love electronic music. Nice. And I like to start the day listening. Uh, a song is uh, there is just one I have found. <laughs> okay, and, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another is uh, I'm ready to go. Okay. And, uh, the that song is um, turn off, turn on, turn. Turn me up. Turn, turn me on. on. <laughs> turn me on. <laughs> okay. And about movie. I don't have favorite movie, and I just I like uh, watch series or K drama. Okay. Um, about hobbies is this watch movies and and listening to music. Okay. And about my family, I uh, love them. <laughs> All right, very good, great. Great, super good, super good. Uh, I like that everybody can speak as I always told you. And it's really nice and glad to hear you that you can speak whatever you want. That's good. You can have a plenty conversation with anyone who speaks English, you're good. So we're gonna go now into topic. We're gonna see uh, this today expressing wishes. This is a topic, it's not that complicated, actually, it's pretty simple. Um, and it helps us to, so we can express or we can say things about the things we wish. You know what is a wish, right? Do you know what is a wish? 
Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, and do you remember that you have always seen movies, sitcoms, uh, cartoons, where there is a genius and there is a genie in the bottle and you have to rob the, the bottle and then a genie comes up and then you can ask three wishes. Have you ever seen those things? Like for example, Aladdin, uh, there is a genie in the in a bottle that he can get you with three wishes. So that's what we are going to learn today, how, to, how we can express wishes. And we use wish to express a desire in our present. And here we're gonna, we are not gonna talk about actually about the future. We're gonna talk about the things that we may not have, but we would like to have right now. And we have here some examples. I wish I had more friends. So that means that right now I have two friends, but I wish I had more, three, four, five, 10, 100, okay? I wish I was taller. So that means that right now I'm short, soy un palumpa. And I wish I was taller. I wish I spoke Italian. Right now I speak English and Spanish. So I wish, but I don't speak Italian. So I wish I spoke Italian. And also, and for the ones who likes uh, rock music from 80s, 70s, you will know this. I wish you were here. Uh, you are not here, so I wish you were here. All right. By 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 the way, do you know who's that song? Do you know this song? Uh, it is of Pink Floyd. Yeah, exactly. Yes. My favorite, my favorite group. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. What? And what in song? Spanish, in Spanish, so wish... Oh, so that is good. Uh, I wish yes. you were here, uh, Mauricio. This is from Pink oh. Floyd. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Pink Floyd is good. The album Animals. Super good. So let's go now and see the, the structure. So we're going to use a subject. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, or they, a name, and then wish. Then the subject again, we're going to use the subject two times. All right. And then, and this is very important. After wish, and I'm sorry, after the subject, you're going to use the verb in past. Okay. And we're going to see the examples again. You see that all of the, of the verbs here, all of them are in past. So I wish I had. I wish I was, I wish I spoke, I wish you were, all right? So make sure that when you do your sentences, then you use the verb in past. And finally, a complement. And we have two examples here again, the same. I wish I had more friends and I wish he were here. Teacher, and, I, I have a question, uh, sorry. Tell me. Uh, in the, in the first example, I wish I had more friends. Mm -hmm. It means, eh, eh, me gustaría haber tenido más amigos o me gustaría tener más amigos. Mm -hmm. The second La, one. Okay. Thanks. Yes, because we, with that, we're speaking in the, in the present. It's like kind of a regret. You know what is a regret? Do you know the meaning of regret? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like exactly that's what it is so with wish it's that what we can kind of express because we can say um i wish i had more friends me gustaría tener más amigos because right now i only have two so i wish i had five ten one hundred so it's something that we want in the present that's what we desire right now okay what about the second sentence? 
what do you see in the second sentence that it's is it is it normal is it good look at this at the at the second sentence look at this sentence maybe the verb in the past okay what happened with the verb in the past you need to use was why because it's a third person exactly because it's a third person that's correct however for wish we don't use it for wish we always going to use the verb be in past just where so i wish he he were here i wish i were here i wish it were here so we are not going to use was we're going to use just where if we're using the verb be right why why can you explain that um actually it's uh a grammatical rule to be honest i'm not sure exactly the main reason why but it's like thought that whenever you use wish you're going to use the either the third person singular of the pronoun and you're going to use where oh. why not sure <laughs> okay but you have to remember it it's like a grammatical expression that you need to use that you have to use where and this is, I, I think if you have already done the, the, the examples in the platform, uh, you have seen that already. If you haven't, uh, then you will see that. There will be some uh, exercises where you will have to use he, she, it, or I with where, all right? So questions so far? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Is correct the... Second example, I, was, I wish he were here. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, correct. It's correct. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just remember, this is this apply just for here. Esto aplica solo aquí. For which? That you're going to use he, she, or it, or I with where? Si estamos utilizando el, sim el simple passive of, of the verb be, then we're going to say I was, she was, he was, it was. Okay. Clear on that? Yes. Clear? Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Okay. So now uh, let's, let's read this. Um, somebody can read this paragraph for me, please. Yes, I will do it. Okay, who? Okay. Imagine you were walking down the street and you suddenly stopped by a shop and wished to buy the newest. Fancy product showcase, but you didn't have enough money. This situation made you wish to have a lot of money. You went home and said to your mom. So picture that. <laughs> Thank you, Judith. You're welcome. So imagine uh, that situation. What would you say? Any thoughts? I wish I had money. Very good. I wish I had money. Another example? What else would you say? I wish I had a better job. Good. I wish I had a better job. What else? I wish my mother were here. Very good. That's good. Mm -hmm. One more. I wish I had a better payment. Okay. Very good. And one more. I will say, I wish I were a millionaire. So I could buy it. <laughs> So you that need a Chiba wallet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, that happens to me every time that I, I go for like that place in, in Santa Elena, I think, where you see like all of those places where they sell cars and you see the, the porch, you see the, the Volkswagen, uh, you see, I don't know what other brands are there. But when I when I go there and I see all those like, cars, I say, mm, I wish. I wear a millionaire to buy one of those. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Good teacher. That thing that you are saying, I'm working near of Santa Elena. Oh, really? I, yeah, and I can see the thing that you are talking about. Yeah. Yeah, BMW. Exactly. And something like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, every time I passed there, it was like, wow, I would like to have one of those. But then I remember and said, I can buy it, but I wouldn't be able to change the oil because it's too expensive. I wouldn't be able to buy a tire because it's too expensive. So, mejor me quedo con el Junta, so that's good. <laughs> According to Kino, you don't need this kind of cars, expensive cars. You need a pair of legs. Oh, yeah. Definitely, of course, of course, that's, that's totally true. So good examples, good thoughts. So that's actually how we use the, the wishes. We, we are in situations where we desire to have something that we don't have right now. All right. So think about it. Yes. Yeah, uh, what is uh, the real, what is the meaning of showcase? Showcase, showcase. it's like, when you go, for example, to Metro Centro, um, and you you go by for the the stores, and there are like the walls in glass, uh -huh. so they are like presented there. Están como, ah, como presentada. Okay. Exactly, that's showcase. Mm -hmm. So where they present like the things, and you see the maniquis, you see like the I don't know, like watches, uh, jewelry. So you see them, and that's showcase. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do some examples right now. Uh, let's practice with this. We have seven examples here. Uh, this is what you're going to do. Uh, we have an example here. My neighbors are noisy. So you have to make a sentence using wish based on the example that I told you. So in my case will be, I wish they were quieter. So you have to do the same with the rest. I can't remember his name. I wish. Uh, I don't know the answer. Then I wish. And so on and so on. Uh, one thing, so you can have it. Um, in this case, you're going to use here uh, can't. So can't, the passive can is could. All right. So you have three minutes, so you can complete these sentences using wish. And by the way, if you can uh, listen to the song, uh, Wish You Were Here from Pink Floyd. It's good. Very good song. Remember that you have to use the verb in past. Remember to use wish is subject, wish, then subject again, the verb in past, and then the complex. Let me know when you have finished.
All right, so let's make this together. Uh, Yolanda, you're done? Okay, very good. Yes. So let's do the examples together so we can uh, see how they are uh, done. So uh, Yolanda, can you please read number one? So read the example uh, and then read the sentence you did. I can't remember his name. I wish I had a better memory. Okay, very good. That's good. Great. Uh, another example you have for number one. Any other volunteer? Let's see. Um, um, let me see. So, Mauricio, can you give me your example for number two? I wish. Um, Read the sentence and then the sentence you did. Um, I don't. I really. I don't. I don't understand uh, the the how to do the example. Okay, I'm, let's I, do. It. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. I, I can say. Okay, just just let me let me get it with 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 Mauricio. So, okay, let's try to make it together. So I don't know the answer. So what you will say it's that since you are regretting the eso, como uh -huh. yeah. como está está como como arrepentido de que you don't know the answer. Entonces lo que quisiera decir en español, por ejemplo, sería eh, quisiera o desearía saber la respuesta. So then sería, I don't know the answer. I wish. I don't know that, but I wish. I knew uh, the answer. Wish I, I wish I knew the answer. Exactly. O desearía o quisiera saber la respuesta. I, I wish, I don't know the answer. I wish, I, I wish I knew the answer. So I wish I knew. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew the answer. I wish I knew the answer. Exactly. It because is in the past. Too. Okay. Exactly. New is the past of no of this one. Okay. Uh -huh. So then you say, I wish I knew the answer. I don't know the answer. No sé la respuesta. Desearía saber la respuesta. So I don't know the answer. I wish, I wish, uh, I wish they knew the answer. I wish I knew the answer. I knew. I wish I knew the answer. Exactly. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, did you get it now, Mauricio? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right Very now. good. Excellent. Now, yes, Sophia, number three. Go number three, Sophia. Microphone. My microphone. <laughs> um, I wish. Okay, read the sentence and then say your sentence. I, I can't go to the party. Okay. I wish I. <laughs> I go. Went to the party. Mm, no. I know. Kind of. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. No worries. Okay. I wish. <laughs> that was good. I wish. Cool. Okay. I wish. I could. I could. Go. Huh? To the party. Very good. Say it again. I wish could go to the party. Okay. I wish. I could. Uh huh. Go. To the party. Okay, say it again. I wish I could go to the party. Very good. I wish I could go to the party. Very good. That's correct. Uh, Great. <laughs> All right, Irving, number four. Okay, 
I can't speak Italian. I wish I could speak Italian. Very good. Excellent. Alexander. I wish I had enough money to take a vacation. Okay, one more time. I wish I had enough money to take a vacation. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, Elvis. Yes, uh, I don't know who to cook. I, I wish uh, how to cook a uh, cake. Okay, you're doing number six. Yes, uh -huh. uh, I, 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 I don't know how to cook. Okay. I wish, I wish uh, to know to how to cook uh, a cake. Okay, one more time. I wish. I wish uh -huh. now how to cook a cake. You're missing something. I wish. I wish. Uh huh. Now. Now, no. how do you're missing something? You're missing something. Remember, it's subject, wish, subject, uh -huh. very past, okay. and common. One more I, time. Okay. Uh -huh. I wish, I wish now how to cook a cake. Kind of, kind of. I wish, I wish now no. how to. No, I wish. I wish uh, I how mm -hmm. to cook a okay. cake. Okay, I the very past. Uh, it at uh, cook a okay. cake. Uh, no, remember we're using this one. I don't know how to cook. So I wish I I I don't remember. What is the past I, of known? No, no. New. New. Uh huh. Okay, so say it again. I wish. I wish new. Okay, I, I wish, wish new. I. I wish now. No, I wish I. I wish I. Uh huh. I wish I knew how to cook a cake. Very good. Say it again. Say it again. I, I wish I knew how to cook a cake. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Thank you. Great. Let's see, uh, Judith, number seven. Okay, number seven, I have a test model. I mm -hmm. wish, um, I wish I started. Um, I wish? I wish I started much so much that I do. Okay, I wish I I studied okay with yeah in the past. Okay, I, I wish I studied. Yeah I wish I studied okay much so much than I did. Okay. Very good. I wish I studied so much. That's good. Good job. Thank you. Excellent. Oh you can say it. I have a question, teacher. Yes. Tell me, Yolanda. No, sorry. I interrupt you. <laughs> no, what I was about to say is that there is another way to say it, like on this one, that I say I have a test tomorrow. What do you think will be the other way to say it? Okay, Dagoberto. I wish I... Did have a test, I didn't have a test tomorrow. Exactly. I wish <laughs> I didn't have a test tomorrow. So, desearía no tener examen mañana. Very good. Okay, Yolanda, your question. Uh, about the uh, subject. You okay. can change the subject. Uh, you don't need to use the same subject. That's correct. You can, you will use oh, the okay. first one for you if you're talking mm -hmm. about you or for someone else. But you can say, mm -hmm. for example, I wish you were in Italy, for example. Mm, but in the case of the, I don't know how to cook. I wish my husband could. It's possible to say that? 
uh, it will be better if you say, I wish my husband knew how to cook. Uh, knew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because knew you have to use the verb uh, in past, in this case for no. To cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Sure. Francisco. It's better to wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, not really. No, no. I prefer no. to cook. I no, prefer I to cook know. than washing the dishes. It's too tired. No. <laughs> All right, Francisco. Teacher, in the in the in the example number seven, mm -hmm. can I say, I wish I I had a test tomorrow. You can say it, but it's saying the same thing. Because right now you're saying, I have a test tomorrow. And if you say, I wish I had a test tomorrow, you're saying the same thing. Es como, yo tengo un examen mañana. Y en la otra sería, yo desearía tener un examen mañana. But you will have it. So in this case, you have to change to, to negative. Like, I have a test tomorrow. I wish I didn't have a test tomorrow. Uh, Or yes, like the, uh, yes, didn't have, in negative. Oh, and like the example that uh, you did said as well, like I have a test tomorrow. I wish I had studied a lot. Desearía haber estudiado bastante porque me dormí. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right, so questions so far? Everything's clear? Yes? So-so. So-so? Porque tengo problemas con where. Ok. Con el verbo pas, eh, where. Entonces, ok. Where lo voy a usar con todos los pronombres, dijo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Con todos los pronombres. Yes. Entonces, con I, I, she, y todo. Exacto. Entonces, la número cuatro, la número cinco, puedo decir, I wish I were rich. Desearía ser rico. Yep. <laughs> no, ya soy. <laughs> I wish I were rich. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's correct. I wish I were rich. Yes, that's correct. Puedo decir, va. Yep, yep, no. definitely. Gracias. All right, very good. Okay, so let's uh, get advantage of the last minutes we have. Uh, I talk about uh, in the beginning of the class of the genie in the bottle. Uh, have you ever wanted to have a genie in a bottle or found a genie in a bottle? Have you ever, alguna vez han, han querido tener un genio en la botella y tener tres deseos ahí? Oh, God. <laughs> What would you ask? Let's see, let's say found, you found uh, the, the lamp of Aladdin mm -hmm. and then sh you rub it and sh it appears the, the genie. Yeah. And he tell you, I'm going to give you three wishes. <laughs> What would you ask? Well, in my case, I think that I wish I were invisible. Okay, very good. I wish yeah. I were invisible. Very good. Okay, now yeah. why? Why? Why invisible? Invisible, for example, to see uh, the things that people are doing okay. without they were watching. <laughs> All right. <laughs> very good. That's yeah. a good wish. Yeah, that, that's a good wish. Good. What about the rest? You have three wishes. It's your only chance. What would you ask? Irving, I see you that you want to tell us about your wishes. I don't have wishes. You don't have wishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somebody else? Someone who wants to get a wish? From the genie. I wish I were, I wish I were immortal. In, in Mortal Kombat. 
Ah, Immortal. Ah, <laughs> Immortal. I say Immortal Kombat. Why <laughs> Immortal Kombat? Hello. Oh. All right. Immortal. Okay. <laughs> on the side, on the side, be alive. <laughs> All right. Why? Because I like, I like to be here in the world. Okay. You like to live. Yes. Very good. Great. Okay. Who else? Let's see, Yolanda. What would you wish? What would be your first wish? Uh, my first wish, I, I don't know, but <laughs> I I think uh, I wish uh, a better uh, pension, no, retire, retirement uh, scheme. Okay, I wish. I, I, I don't know, I had uh -huh. a better uh, retirement scheme. Okay, I know the, the answer, it will be maybe rhetorical, but why? Ah, uh, because... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Because I need to take my vacation. <laughs> okay. Yes, and uh, in this case, uh, my, my retirement scheme is very uh, low. <laughs> yeah, I know, yes. that, that's sad, but yeah, yes. definitely, definitely. We need to fight. <laughs> definitely definitely yes. very this good this is my wish that's good that that will be mine too uh, I, I, I don't I'm... need more money <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will ask in the second wish for money but in the first one that will be one yeah I, I'm concerned I'm, I'm gonna get retired I don't know in how many years but what are they gonna give me are yes, they gonna the, give something good the context is not good for us no, it's not. So save money, everybody. Save money. All right, one more. Who wants to share? I Is wish a... I could travel more to who, who? the world. Say it again. I wish. Uh -huh. I wish I could travel more to know the world. Very good. I wish I could travel more. Um, in the world, you said, right? The world. Or the world. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. Yes, it's correct. It's good. And let's see, Crisia, it seems that you want to ask for your wish. So what would you ask? This is your time. Aprovecha okay. aquí. Pida lo que quieran. <laughs> Um, I wish I have the cure for a lot of enfermedades. Illness. Illnesses. Oh. Illnesses. Oh. Okay, oh. say it again. I wish. I wish I have the cure. Okay, you say have or had? Had. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, say it one more time. I wish I had the cure for a lot of I I don't get it. Illnesses. Like illness, illness yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Why? Because uh, the word is um, is uh, come on. Jeno. Uh, filled. Is filled the people. With many types? That many types illness. <laughs> okay, very good. And I think that the... Uh huh. You think? All right, that's fine, no worries. But that's a good wish, it's a pretty good wish. We all would like to have the cure for illnesses. It's something very bad. We have seen it in our families and hopefully someday we're gonna get cure for many of the things that we have passed for many years. So 
Cheer up, Crazy. We're going to have it. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So <laughs> no worries. No worries. Okay, class. So this was it. Um, to make a wish, I hope your wishes come true. Uh, the only key to make your wishes true, it's to work from them. That's the only thing. There's no genies in the bottle. If you want to get your dream come true, you will have to work for it. So. Yeah, huh? All right. Say your wishes. Your wishes. I wish I were rich. I wish I were young. I wish I were. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. But young, you always are young. Young is inside, not outside. All right. So <laughs> we are all we are all young. Here we are just young people. There's no old people here, just young. Young and strong, right? <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for coming again to this class. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you learned uh, from this class. Uh, and well, do you have any questions so far? Everything clear? Any comment? Something you would like to say? Nice class, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. And that's because of you. You made it a good thank class. You. So thank you, thank you very much again. Uh, have a good night. We're going to see tomorrow at 8 again. So take care, everybody. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good night. Too. Bye bye. Thank you, good. teacher. Good night. Welcome. See you take tomorrow. Care. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. Take care. Goodbye.